Today, older adults are the fastest growing segment of the federal prison population, despite being one of the least likely groups to reoffend. But prisons aren't nursing homes. They're not designed for the health needs of older people, not even basic needs like extra blankets and clothing to stay warm in the winter. Just moving around can be challenging for older folks in prison, who might have a hard time climbing stairs or getting into raised bunk beds. Facilities also often lack supports older adults need, like walkers, wheelchairs, and hearing aids. And the challenges aren't just physical. Older incarcerated people might have difficulty hearing or processing their thoughts, which can make it hard to understand or follow rules. And this can lead to punishment from correctional officers. On top of all of that, prison conditions overall are generally unsafe. The food served is often moldy and rotten, and sometimes even infested with maggots. Some people in prison have consumed water contaminated with arsenic or served from containers with rats inside. Air conditioning is commonly broken or non-existent in places that experience extreme heat. But it doesn't have to be this way. States can implement early release for aging incarcerated people and compassionate release for those who are close to the end of their lives. These programs already exist, but they're really difficult to access, so many incarcerated people who could benefit aren't able to take advantage. And if they are released, older folks face very limited options because many nursing homes won't take in people with criminal convictions. To reduce the number of incarcerated older adults, advocates argue for release programs to be made more accessible and for conditions to be improved for those forced to stay behind bars.